Yo, send by. You seen this yet? You seen this? Sack XPD actually exposed one of the biggest, largest crypto scams this year. I'm talking about from a single account. Stole $243 million from a single person. From a single person. I mean, unless I hope that dude has a billion dollars. Because if this was all he had, $243 million, massive veil, he lost everything. However, I haven't gone through this entire thread myself. I'm just doing this impromptu. I thought this is something that uh, I could bring it to you. Zach XPD has done it on X, right? One million views already. But uh, I'm just doing it in a video format, all right? All credit goes to the source, Zach XPD. And CoffeeZilla is also covering another billion dollar scam. Some Omega Ponzi scheme. Once he releases it, uh, releases the video, whatever, I'm going to give you my two cents on it, okay? All right. An investigation into how Grievous Malone, Lamb, or I am, Wiz, Virchatal, Hindi, Bhaijan, what are you doing, bruh? Why scam? And Box, Jane Del Serrano, stole $243 million from a single person last month in a highly sophisticated social engineering attack. Social engineering, okay? And my efforts, which have helped, lead to multiple arrests and millions frozen. Millions frozen. And this is the wallet, basically, if you look at it. <laughs> And the reaction was crazy. He has some reaction video, which I'm going to see if I can locate and put it up there. Right? So, okay. How do you close this? There you go. This is another one. Look at the whole web here. So, Zach is right here. Right? And then connecting all the dots here. Going back and forth. This is crazy, right? It's interesting. It's a whole spider web, basically. That shows you everything. Laundering and whatnot. Massive. All right. Let's begin. Second. Incident summary on August 19, 2024, very recent. The threat actors targeted a single Genesis creditor by calling as Google support via spoof fed number of to compromise personal accounts, calling after as Gemini support claiming account is hacked. Social engineered victim into resetting 2FA and sending Gemini funds to compromise wallet. Got victim to use any desk to share screen and leak private keys from Bitcoin Core. Wowzer. Wowzer. This is social engineering, all right? You get this point, right? Call to you on a fake thing. Hey, I'm this support, blah, blah, blah. But I'm kind of sh surprised and shocked because it's not just a regular Joe or Zoomer or whatsoever. It's, it's a massive amount, all right? You can see all the trash, uh, the hash, the transaction from the Gemini of black and forth whatsoever, right? He lagged out. We have access to Atomic Wallet, main emails, and they kind of actually leaked the conversation or whatever it was leaked, basically. You can see here, I've done this a few times before. What you can do is, please just take a picture of the last four of the private key. You can crop the rest of it. Just please take the picture for now. You don't have to send it anywhere. I texted him. That's another thought. <laughs> this is how the whole thing is going down, actually. You see what I mean? Screenshot by screenshot. SSS, what's up? What's up, PPP0? We got him on any desk and I made him restore his wallet. And These are all the, the bad dudes, bad actors, actually. You see what I mean? The bad actors. They're talking to each other back and forth. They're telling what they did. Restore his wallet and create a new backup. We got him on any desk and I made him restore his wallet. Okay. Dude, I love you. That's Meech. We got him on any desk and I made him restore his wallet and create a new backup and I synced it through... OneDrive, ON Drive, whatever that is. Oh my god. All right. And then you can you have this thing here. Swag. These are the names. Telegram screen name in video. All right. So these are the names. They're just talking back and forth. Then Elias, the alias. Viz, Grievous. We have the Jen DL, Chen, and Danny Trauma. All right. And their names, their real name. Veer Chetal. Veer Chetal. Malone. I am. JNDL Serrano and Danish Khan. All right. And location. Yo, this is look in USA and one in UK. So location, Connecticut, US, California, US, California, US, and UK. That's the fourth one. Notes. Got into Gmail and iCloud. Searched mail and found everything relating to Target. You see the syndication? Like syndicate basically how it's working. Called as exchange representative. All right, so Jindiel called as an exchange rep, and then Malone searched mail and found everything related to the tar basically the target. 
social engineering, pure. All right, got into Gmail and iCloud. <sighs> Man, 249 million. <laughs> Here's a private video recording showing the live reaction by multiple of the threat actors to receiving 238 million. This is a live reaction from <laughs> multiple of the threat actors. Watch this. Oh, wow. Wow, no way. No fucking way. I see it. It's on the blockchain. It's on the blockchain. No fucking way, nigga. Oh my god. Oh my god. No fucking way. Yes. Holy fuck, nigga. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, bro, I'm gonna spaz out. Yo! We're done! We're done! I'm spazzing out! <laughs> Do you know how much money that is? Quarter of a bill. Probably spent three right. days, or is it four ways? That's oh, it's pretty. That's pretty pretty funny. Pretty, pretty, pretty ten pretty. You see all these dudes here, all of these right here listed right there. What? How would you react if you scam someone of like a quarter billion dollars? Not just million. I'm talking about billion dollars. Two thirty-eight million dollars. How would you react? I mean, first you have to figure out, you know, like tons, thousands of stuff must be going on in your, in your head, right? Oh, I have to buy like 10 mansions here, like 20, 30 Lambos, all different colors. Must be. I mean, come on, dude. We're talking about <laughs> quarter billion dollars. Is, yeah. I'm going to lose my shit. Yo, how do I, hold on. I wanted to present this to you because this is just... An example of actually how syndicates run. They'll use telegrams, they use so called screen sharing, whatever. Sometimes it gets leaked out. If you remember, I called out Elio Trades because of leaked chat. Somebody saw him go live and made a mistake, basically. You call it karma or whatever you want to call it, it just happens. Like some bad dudes, whatever, would just tiny, make a tiny mistake. And from there, people dig deeper, go down the rabbit hole, and that's how you can see a lot more. All right. I don't come to a conclusion because of, again, Hating on some huge dude or whatever. But this, I've seen the pattern in every possible way. You can hire people to create Telegram, act like you can literally hire a team of people who are gonna go around shill stuff and just, you know, this is what you could do. You could steal people's money and use that money to go against that per person as well. It's ridiculous, but that's real, man. And initial tracing showed 243 million split multiple ways between each party before funds quickly peeled off to 15 plus exchanges immediately swapping back and forth between bitcoin litecoin ethereum and monero so again now starts once you do this scam hack whatever now comes the social uh now comes the laundering part basically yeah you split and now you launder you figure out how to get this out so you can buy your own lambos or whatnot Wiz, weir received a large percentage cut from the theft and slipped up during screen share by leaking his full name during the theft Additional comfort was gained as throughout multiple recordings, accomplices referred to him as Veer on audio and in chats. Chats. So he received 34.5 million of his funds sit here, this account. Right? I don't want to see this. You can literally go back and forth and see all the stuff, but that's not my point. Right? You can see the name here leaked, Veer chat. This is a telegram. Yeah? Quite a bunch of stuff on the other side. <laughs> my bad, bro. I'm zoned in or some shit. Oh, wow. It's wild. All right. You can see here. There's another one. Something here. V dresses like me. I don't dress like him. Yeah. Okay. Swag. All right. Six. Wiz friend, light dark, Akash. Akash helped launder the funds for him using e EXEH and Tor swap. Okay. Similar to Wiz, he also leaked his name during screen share. Wiz TC destination address confirmed in video. All right. And I'm not gonna play this. Not here to dox people, but looks like hey, I'm you're doxing who again? A scammer? Whoa! I'm gonna link this in the description so you can understand the full thread, right? If you're interested, you can deep deeper. But uh, Zach actually has another two minutes video here, explains about Thor swap, shows you exactly what he did. All right, <laughs> unbelievable. The dude literally 
exposed himself. See this? It has 49 million swapped. All right. Grievous Malone lives a flashy lifestyle with the stolen funds having purchased 10 plus cars and going out to clubs in LA and Miami with friends spending 250k, 500k per night and giving out Birkin bags to girls. <laughs> During video clips and in chats, multiple people refer him as Malone and was flexing stolen funds on Discord. Currently, 3.5 million tied to Grievous it here. All right. So this is the flashy lifestyle that they all brag. Yeah. Hundreds of cars. Buys. Yeah. Wow. Nice, huh? Look at this here. <laughs> people cheering for him. Got enough money to pay for a bunch of stuff. All the stuff here. Nice. Right. What is this here? Hmm gonna go to mill or lose it all i'm not gonna lie but i wd 450k left 2k in ball balance grievous was located via osint in lele miami due to the friends girls posting his location on social media each night he also has an instagram account where he posted photos of himself using his name after earlier this year all right hey zach why don't you just break this down man like such a massive that's one of the persons malone basically that's malone the lv hmm all right. Number nine, Box, Jandy John, played a role by calling the victim as a Gemini exchange rep. On Discord, Telegram, and other platform, Box reuses the same PFP. Currently, 18 million tied to Box hits here. All right. And then Danny Trauma, Danish Khan, was active in the inner Telegram chat as Meech. Although it's not immediately clear his exact role, though it is known he has access to multiple bankruptcy DBS. His exchange... His ex-girlfriend leaked all of his photos on social media. However, so his info has been public. His info has been public. But uh, again, since everything has been leaked, you can see all the chat here. All right? Very cool. Now, number 10. A cluster of ETH addresses tied to both box was received 41 million from two exchanges over the past few weeks, primarily flowing to luxury goods. This is again, the first one, whoever received the massive amount. To exchanges over the past few weeks, primarily flowing to luxury goods, brokers to purchase cars, watches, jewelry, and designer clothes. <laughs> this is also backed up by what he we said in chats about spending the funds. Everything connected. This is massive. This is massive. But you see how many people are involved? It's just a couple, right? While most of the funds were converted to XMR, Monero, both Box and Viz accidentally linked the laundered funds with the dirty funds on multiple instances. Viz, during screen share, showed an address he sent funds to for designer clothes, which had millions in exposure to the cluster above. Box linked the dirty funds with the cleans funds by accidentally reusing a deposit address. Told you. Make one silly mistake. Pfft, you open the Pandora's box. And that's exactly what it is. With the assistance of CF investigators, and Zero Shadow and the Binance Security team, more than 9 million has been frozen and 500k has already been returned back working after working closely with the victim to investigate the incident. One victim. And you can see clearly, at least Zach XBD tried. Out of 249 so far, 9 million and 500k has been frozen, right? His efforts didn't go wasted. As a result of the investigation, Box and Gravies were arrested yesterday evening in Miami, in LA. <laughs> no way. I would expect law enforcement seize additional funds during the arrest due to large transfers around that period of time. What? Miami. All right, this is trending. The FBI is conducting a raid at a luxury home in Miami. FBI officials said agents for carrying out court-ordered law enforcement activity at a house near the intersection of whatever, whatever, right? The address. Viewer video shared with 7 News. All right, so this is real. Long guns and tactical gear. <laughs> This is what do you expect, dude. My post will be updated as the legal case progresses. In the meantime, mint a free collectible <laughs> to commentate the investigation on stolen Bilon Zora. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, right? MF was already getting ready for this. They would have been broke again after a few months of spending like that. I mean, that's for sure, but it's not about what they did with the money. The fact that they were able to social engineer and just get this out of someone who literally had a billion, like quarter billion of like BDC crypto. They are not just talking about random victim, right? Oh, he, they are old people, old couples or whatsoever. That shows that anybody can fall 
like nobody's immune to this whole scam and social engineering and whatnot. It's so wild, right? Truly impressive, not the hack, but your investigative efforts. Bro, who are you even? Awesome work, sir. Oh my God, this is insane. I mean, this is one of the largest hack you can ever imagine, right? Let's see how far this goes, all right? And so far, again, Miami, what happened to the rest, right? So at the end, we see Gravy, Malone, I am Malone. Is this his real name? Arrested. What about Virchetel, Viz? What happened to them? So only one arrested. Wait, I just want to see something. Grievous was located in Miami. This guy doesn't look like Grievy. Wait, who is this? <laughs> Wait, in the box and Grievous were arrested. Is that the investigation box? And Grievous were arrested yesterday. Investigation box and Grievous were arrested. Gravies were arrested? Because if you look here, they said Malone was this guy here. Gravis was located where okay, his location social media. Oh. Alright, hold on, hold on. So this is here, I guess. This is him right here. I think, right? If I'm not wrong. I'm not I thought one of these is gravy, but nope. You see what I mean? This guy over here. He's the one who looks like he got arrested. The rest, what happened to this? What about this? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that is, man. This is wild. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Right? Just want to show you this. Because most of the scams, even I call out so-called, might not be as big as this. But they follow a very similar pattern. Alright? I mean, if you notice, the Telegram sell you some NFT, money launder, whatever. That's another way of scamming. That's literally like a blatant scam. Literally, you're not even... You don't even know that you're getting scammed by holding some garbage stuff, right? It's crazy. That's massive... That's worse than that's not only social engineering, that's worse than manipulation in a way. Yeah, it's like everything combined. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.